as always, there are some very exciting shows at London's renowned National Theatre. This season, The National hosts a new musical created at New York's Public Theatre with music by David Byrne and Fatboy Slim. And, as it tells the story of the infamous Imelda Marcos, the shoe-obsessed First Lady of the Philippines, we'd have to agree that it's revolutionary. The show follows Marcos from her childhood in poverty, through her heady days at the top, to the ultimate downfall of the regime, and takes a close look at the shattering consequences of the abuse of power. The theatre has been transformed into a club with 360 degree staging, and audience members are told to dress comfortably and come ready to dance. Get ready to rock with this one. Created at the National, the curious incident of the dog in the night time is now in the West End and on Broadway. I'm going to find out who killed Wellington. Someone killed her dog with a fork. The play's about Christopher, a 15-year-old boy who seems to have a form of autism. Christopher, who's never gone beyond the end of his road alone, sets out to solve the mystery of who killed the neighbor's dog. Is this train going to London? 512, 729, 1003. The audience is taken into Christopher's world and it's a fascinating journey. I like maths and also I like outer space and I like being on my own. This amazing play, based on Mark Haddon's award-winning novel, won seven Olivier Awards, including Best New Play. Great Britain is a new play by Richard Bean, the writer who's also penned Made in Dagenham. Lucy Punch plays Paige Britton, an ambitious young news editor working for the tabloids editor Robert Lenister. What's at stake? The British way of life. So go out there and get those stories. The show is in their words, an anarchic and foul-mouthed satire about the press, the police and the political establishment. If you do not deliver, I will personally shove this pineapple up your ass. A clue is the one thing I've not got. <laughs> 